This is the Florida Man Funny with Molio on Power 106. Good morning. We're about uh, 11 minutes away from 8 o'clock in the morning. Good morning to you, Mr. Molio. And, of course, we tried to do something that was an epic fail a while ago. Yeah, we tried Skype. You know, what happens was we're sitting here and I'm getting stuff ready in the morning. And we're, Bolio and I make a bet. You know, we're going to start off Funny Man Friday in a funny way today. And uh, aside from the funny stuff you got written right there, because I, I got a couple of things to say about that. Um, you know, what happened was Bolio and I are in here in the studio. And uh, he says, I can make a better cartwheel than you in the hallway. And I'm like, no, sir. I'm the cartwheel master. So we tried to do a cartwheel. And lo and behold, Bolio, you are the cartwheel king. Yeah, even though I'm 40 pounds overweight and, uh, you know, I've got this weird center of gravity thing going on. Yeah. And uh, the, the loser. I, sh- I showed you. The loser of the bed had to go buy a drink because we forgot to get drinks this morning. Yeah. But I show up at the at the convenience store. And there are like 35 people in four lines. I'm, I'm pretty sure if you were in that line this morning, you know exactly which convenience store I am speaking of. Yeah, you don't even have to say who it is. I think everybody knows. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding? That's funny. I mean, I'll, and then I'll, I'm about to walk in. I'm like, uh, all right, whatever. Yeah. I'm not going to get, I'll, I'll wait. Yeah, and we see how well that worked out for both of us. Florida Man Friday, we do it every Friday about this time. So today we got some, what I'm looking at, just the headlines. Are yeah, the, the, headline, the headlines alone, I mean, I can just read the headlines. We're done. We're done. And as always, lucky me, I live in Lubbock. Welcome back to the Florida Man Funny, a.k.a. Florida Man Friday on Power 106 and YouTube. And this week's theme is Grandma's Grand. Grandmas and more grandmas. Yeesh. Yes, and Grandma would be so proud today. Florida man breaks into school so he can call Grandma. Grandma really would be proud of him. Florida man broke into a high school in hopes of finding a phone to call his grandma, according to police in Port St. Lucie, Florida. Aaron Richardson, 19, was charged Monday night after officials at Treasure Coast High School reported that someone had broken into a concession stand and busted a computer. Officers noticed a damaged fence near the school perimeter and the computer, which looked like it had been smashed with a fist or a foot, and that's that's a lot of strength to do that. Uh, school surveillance video showed him climbing the fence and driving a school-owned golf cart around campus, too. They identified him as a former student of the school, and they said he was easy to find. He was already at the Port, Port St. Lucie jail serving time on an unrelated rest the same night. Uh, they said that uh, he, supposedly he entered the school searching for a phone to call his grandma. When that didn't work, he tried to contact her via Facebook on the concession stand computer. Yeah, that was probably not a real good idea. So when that failed, he punched the computer in anger. Currently, right now, he is in the Port St. Lucie County Jail on a $21,000 bond, and it's unknown whether or not he ever got a hold of Grandma. Very nice. I doubt it. I think Grandma's not too terribly happy with him right now. Probably not. Oh, but this one's even this better. This one's funny. This, now, this, this is funny. <laughs> this, this I can one. relate to. Yeah, well, And I, a lot of people. I think a lot of people. Woman hires Hitman because her grandkids got lice. Florida woman's <laughs> accused of trying to hire a hitman to kill a man she claims gave her grandchildren lice. Police in New Smyrna said Pamela Vanzerdale tried to hire her former son-in-law to pop the proposed victim, 22-year-old Dylan Loveless, in the head and chest. Versadale's daughter was dating Loveless, who was homeless. That just adds to the confusion right there. And she believed her grandkids caught lice from him. Investigators learned about the plot from the would-be shooter, Daniel Doan. He said Vanzerdale asked him to kill Loveless, and she would provide a 25 caliber handgun with only two bullets. So he better make those count. And you have to be real close. Exactly. <laughs> and then she suggested that the guy dump the victim's bodies in South Carolina afterwards. Uh, police got a search warrant for the house, found the weapon with the two bullets. She admitted to asking him to kill Loveless, but said she was only joking. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. She was charged with conspiracy to commit murder, and she was later released on a $25,000 bond. So, deadly grandmas and grandma... Uh, what, I don't know. I'll tell you what. If my grandmother put a hitman on everybody that gave us lice growing up, hey, they're, they're, we'd have a big chunk of the population in the, the Lubbock area missing. Missing. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Scary thought. Be sure to check out the video for this. It'll be on our link. Facebook, Power 106.5 Lubbock. And don't forget, we got Ooh. tickets to see <laughs> Michael Salgado coming up. I'm excited. People are coming up to me asking me for tickets, but the only way you can get tickets 
is if you if, is if you win win the tickets or pick them up later on this afternoon yeah, 11 o'clock yeah. Adobe yeah Adobe Auto Sales 48th and Avenue Q Nora will be there broadcasting live 11 to 1 or is it 1 11 to 1 11 to 1 okay 11 to 1 and when she runs out of tickets they're gone she for runs the day. out alright so make sure you keep the tune don't go anywhere the big unplugged concert is going to be happening Thursday night at Copper Caboose 5609 Avenue Q your details they're coming up right here on Power 106 be sure and catch Conjunto to the Bone every Wednesday here on Power 106.